Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together. Alright, so we're looking at the IEB exam in preparation of course uh, for the upcoming exam. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family and um, you know, I will keep on giving you these questions right just throwing them uh, out there so that you they can benefit you all right so let's look at the november 22 exam 2022 exam right so uh, let's get right into it so they say to us we've got uh, a ball that is thrown upwards into the air and caught when it returns to its original height 1.6 seconds after it was thrown right they say calculate the magnitude of the initial velocity with which the ball was thrown. All right. So first of all, let's just try and see what that scenario looks like. Okay, so there it is there, right? So we've got a ball that starts from a particular position. Let's call that position A, right? It gets to maximum height, remember? Okay, and in this case, it comes back to the same position again, right? So what do we note in this case? They told us that it takes 1.6 seconds for the entire motion of the ball, right? So what does that mean? It means if we're looking at this, uh, because the ball starts at the particular position and ends at that very same position, then we've got what we call a time symmetry, right? So meaning the time going up will be equal to the time coming down, right, for this ball. So therefore, if my total time is 1.6 seconds, then it means that the time going up will be half of that, which will be 0 0.8 seconds, okay? Similarly, the time for the motion coming down from B to C uh, will also be 0 0.8 seconds, right? I hope that makes sense, right? Okay, now, they ask us to calculate the initial velocity of the uh, with which the ball was thrown, right? So we want the velocity at A, right? So I'm going to make an assumption that we are going to take upwards as positive, right? So the direction upwards, I'm going to consider that as my positive direction. Now remember, once I've taken up as positive, it means downwards is positive. I know that may seem very obvious, right? Uh, but then it means that gravitational acceleration throughout this question will be treated as negative. Okay, right. So I'm going to take information from A till B, right? And I'll say, well, let me look for my initial velocity, my final velocity. Now, remember, when I get to maximum height, my velocity will be zero. Right, and the gravitational acceleration in this case will be negative 9.8 because we've chosen up as positive, and the time that it takes will be 0 0.8 seconds, and the displacement in this case is also unknown. Right, now they wanted us to calculate the initial velocity, so we're looking for initial velocity and we don't have displacement, there's only one equation without displacement and it is the first equation right so i'm going to say vf is equal to vi plus a delta t right my final velocity is zero i'm looking for my initial velocity and this is going to be negative 9.8 multiplied by 0 0.8 which is our time okay so let's try and multiply that out so we've got negative 9.8 times 0 0.8. Okay, so that gives us negative. So that's VI minus 7.84. Okay, so if we take that to the other side, it will definitely become positive, right? So if we take this value to the other side, it becomes positive. So it means that our initial velocity will be 7.84 meters per second okay right and by the way because they said the magnitude we can leave it like that but if they just said calculate the velocity then we would need to state the direction and uh, this would be upwards okay 
right? But there's no need to state the direction in this particular case, right? Now, the next question, they say, what is the maximum height that will be reached by the ball, right? Okay, so I'm going to substitute there into the equation delta y is vi times delta t plus 1 over 2a delta t squared, right? We're looking for the displacement. Now we know that our initial velocity, by the way, it is positive because it's going up. So that's 7.84 times 0 0.8 plus a half times uh, gravitational acceleration minus 9.8 times 0 0.8 squared. All right, so let's whip out our calculator, right? So we're going to have 7.84 times 0 0.8 plus 0 0.5 times negative 9.8 times 0 0.8 squared. Okay, right, I get a, vel uh, a displacement rather of 3.14. Right, so I'm going to round off to two decimal places. Of course, uh, the examiner will be the one that dictates that. Usually, it's two decimal places. So that's 3.14. That's meters. That's meters, rather. Okay, so we know in this case, it was displaced upwards. So that should be in the positive direction. Right, so the maximum height will be, therefore, 3.14 four meters okay right so let's go to the very next question they say on the axis provided draw a graph to show the acceleration of the ball over the entire um 1.6 seconds okay uh period that is described okay so remember, we have already taken, um, you know, upwards as positive. So that means that our acceleration will be negative 9.8, right? Throughout the motion of this object. So that's negative 9.8. And remember that it remains constant. Okay, so um, I'm just going to draw a horizontal straight line oh okay sorry that was supposed to be at negative 9.8 but you get the point right so this is what our graph will look like okay uh, because our acceleration stays the same throughout all right the next question says the ball is then thrown upwards a second time with an initial velocity of five meters per second right this time the person does not catch it uh, catch the ball on its way down, right? It hits the ground 1.2 seconds after it was thrown, okay? So, they want us uh, to find out what was the initial height of the ball above the ground when it was thrown. I want you to uh, quickly just uh, think about it, ladies and gents, right? So, there we are. We're going to throw a ball from a particular height above the ground, right of course it goes up okay we know we threw it up at a velocity of five meters per second right it reaches that maximum height then it goes down so the person fails to catch the ball right at this point and the ball goes further down right and hits the ground now what they're saying to us Let's say this is, again, A, B. Let's consider this to be C, where it comes back to the same point, all right? Same position as uh, when it was thrown. And then position D would be when it uh, lands on the ground, right? Now, I want you to just quickly consider, ladies and gents. Right, so they said it hits the ground 1.2 seconds after it was thrown. So meaning that the time from a till d would be 1.2 okay right so now let's look at it looks like we've got more uh, information 
about a till d we've got the initial velocity so i want you to please uh, listen very carefully so we've got our initial velocity we said uh, take upwards as positive so we're going to have positive five meters per second okay final velocity we don't know at what velocity it reached the ground okay and gravitational acceleration which is minus 9.8 uh, meters per second squared and we know uh, in this case the time from a till d is 1.2 seconds but now i want us to talk about this thing um, in this case called uh, displacement so when you think about a displacement we say that it is a straight line change in position from the beginning to the end point right so what I'm going to do in terms of the displacement there is that now where's my beginning? My beginning is at A, right? And where's my end point? My end point is at D, right? So the question is in a straight line, how far is A till D? So it would be this displacement over here, right? So when we talk about displacement, it would be the straight line change in position from the beginning to the end point. So think about it. So if you consider that it went up and then came back down, right? I'm, I'm just making an example. So suppose that, uh, you know, the uh, displacement going up was two meters, right? Coming back down to C would be minus two meters. So in this case, what happens? It means that the total displacement between A to C will actually be zero, all right? And so that is why the total displacement from A till D would therefore be the same as the displacement from C till D, okay? I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. All right, so to get the height, uh, we're looking for that displacement, right? We don't have the final velocity, so we are going to use, again, delta y, that's vi delta t plus 1 over 2a delta t squared, right? Okay, so our initial velocity is 5, our time is 1.2 plus 1 over 2 times negative 9.8 times 1.2 squared. Okay, so uh, we can now calculate that. Okay, so that's 5 times 1.2. Okay, plus 0 0.5 times negative 9.8 times 1 point, uh, sorry, 1.2 squared. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, I get negative 1.06. Okay, please verify that for me as well. Negative 1.06 meters. So that's how far it was from the ground. Okay, right. And why does it, uh, why it, does it uh, become negative? Because remember, we took up as positive. So where were we displaced this time around? We were displaced downwards, right? So it means that the initial height above the ground, so the height was therefore 1.06 meters. Okay, right. And finally, okay, they say calculate the magnitude of the velocity with which the uh, this ball hits the ground. Okay, so we want the velocity when it gets to the ground. I am now going to calculate the final velocity. Okay, so Vf would be Vi plus A delta T. My initial velocity was positive 5. My acceleration is negative 9.8. And the time is 1.2. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, let's move this guy here. So that's 5 plus negative 9.8 times 1.2 okay and we get a velocity of negative 6.76 6 
meters per second. Right, again, why is that velocity negative? Because it was heading downwards. So as a result, it means that we will get a uh, velocity which is negative, right? So they were just interested in the magnitude. So we can therefore say that that velocity was 6.76 meters per second. Okay, right. I hope that made sense, ladies and gents. Uh, right. Uh, please remember, I will keep throwing, uh, you know, some of these questions. Um, you, you know, you can look at uh, so many other questions that I've done uh, that are similar. Right. But for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.